when you are doing a real estate development project, whether you're developing land, developing houses, there's risk to the entitlement project. Commercial, multifamily, it can be any type of development project. You are taking a risk of expending money, time, energy, effort, money to be able to get the property approved and permitted for what it is you want to use. So that's the entitlement process, getting all of your entitlements, meaning you're entitled to build what it is that you want to build according to the zoning rules and regulations. So you have to take a risk of entitlement in order to get those approvals. You have to spend money on surveys, feasibility studies, site capacity studies, layouts, sometimes all the way through to full architecturals. So there is risk associated with the entitlement process just because a piece of land is zoned for something. Let's say that it's zoned for 14 units an acre or it's zoned where you could build a 20,000 square foot building doesn't mean you can actually build it. There's a process you have to go through to get all of your entitlements in order to build that project. You have to have the capacity to build the footprint out to be able to get the number of units you're looking to get, to get the square footage you're looking to get, and there's setbacks, height restrictions, lot coverage, utilities access, road access, easements, floor area ratios, green space requirements, on-site stormwater retention, things like that. So there's a lot of considerations when you're looking at developing a project and you're going through that entitlement process to get all your approvals. So you need to make sure you understand what you can do before you put that property under contract roughly get an idea you can call the local city county authority and kind of go through some of the questions with them in terms of what you can do with the property what the capacity potential of that property is what you may or may not be able to do with it so you can get a good comfort level before you spend too much money going down the road of getting those approvals so entitlement risk is the risk that you're going to get the project approved for what you want to get it approved for you want to be able to tie your purchase price to the capacity of the project so if you think you can get four 14 units, you want to pay for 14 units in terms of the land value. If you can only get 10, you want to reduce the purchase price to 10. Same thing with square footage, same thing with number of lots, whatever it is. You want to make sure you tie your end purchase price to the density that you're able to get because that's what your value is ultimately tied to is density, capacity. That's what's going to drive the value of a real estate development. Ultimately, your goal is to max out the opportunity of that land, that parcel, so you can get the most amount of money possible, the biggest return on your investment for that project.